The chapter name is Word Processing with Wiz. We are at the page number 55. On the page 55, the first line of the chapter is We use the computer to type documents. Yes, we can type any type of document on the computer or a gadget or on a cell phone. There are many word processing tools that make creating a document simple. But first we are going to see that what is word processor. Word processor is a productivity software which provide a way to create and edit documents. It's a technical definition of a word processor. Listen again. A word processor is a productivity software which provides a way to create and edit documents. Okay. So in simple words, conversion of any information into the text is called word processing and the software which is used to do that thing is basically known as a word processor. So what word processor can do? Let's see, go back to the book. There are many word processing tools that make creating a document quite simple. These tools enable us to format, edit, save and print different types of documents. Okay, then what are these? What is formatting? What is editing? What is saving and what is printing? Okay, now we will see all these options. What are they? Format or formatting is a decoration of a page in word processor that how your page look like what is the color of the page if you want to add a border you can add it you can change the text style or the effect it's a formatting so basically it's a decoration of the page edit or editing process of changing anything in a previous saved word file is called edit or editing then the third thing is a save save means to store it in a computer you can save your file by pressing a shortcut control s control s by pressing it you can save your file in the computer when you press control plus s it will ask you the location and the name of the file you want to save by default the location of the file is goes to the document folder of the computer now the fourth option is the print you can print your document by pressing the shortcut control P. Control P is a shortcut for printing. By print, you can take a hard copy or a printout of a document. Now coming back to the page 55 again. The third paragraph, we do not have to retype the entire document to make corrections. Yes, we don't, do not have to rewrite the whole paragraph or the whole document if there is some mistake in it. We can edit it in three ways. As I told you, editing is basically a changes in a file. So there are three ways you can change it. The first one is we can correct our mistakes with the backspace or the delete key. We can change or make our mistakes correct by using backspace and delete key. Okay, the difference between backspace and delete key is this. When you press a backspace, backspace will erase the data or the text or the words on the left hand side and the delete key will erase the data from the right hand side. Both are different, the working is same. Both are different but the working is same. How they are different? They are different in performing the operations but their purpose is same. Both of them are used for erasing the data or the text on the file.
then afterwards we have another option we can cut text and move it to another place in the document it's a second way for editing in the document on page 55 we can cut text and move it to another place in the document how you can cut your text how you can cut your text there is a shortcut there is a shortcut in your microsoft word or in a typing software in a typing software the shortcut is control x for example you typed two lines in your document you type two lines in your document and then afterwards you have to select it then after selecting it you have to press control x the shortcut for cutting is control x when you press it the data is and disappeared from the location but when you place it but when you place it on somewhere else it will be pasted how it can be placed the shortcut for paste is a control v first you can select the text then press control x okay if you don't want to cut it with the help of shortcut there is a scissor option in microsoft word on the left hand side there is a scissor option you can select the text and click on the scissor option afterwards clicking on scissor it will cut the text from that location and you go to your specific or your recommended location and then click on the paste option it's at the home tab and then click on paste option the shortcut for cut is control x and the shortcut for paste is control v so we discussed about the two ways in which we can edit the first one is we can correct our mistakes with the backspace or delete keys or the second one is we can cut text and move it to another place in the document afterwards there is a third option but first you can listen these two for one more time